A South Korean news agency reports the North is preparing a new underground nuclear test. It will allegedly follow the long-range missile test plan for later this week. And in a rare move, foreign reporters were allowed to see firsthand the fully prepared rocket at the launch site. The North's aim is to put a communication satellite into orbit, but the U.S. and South Korea say it might be a covert ballistic missile test. And Japan is prepared to shoot the rocket down if it goes over its territory. For analysis, let's join now Dr. Tim Beal, a researcher and Asia specialist from New Zealand. Tim, thanks very much for being here with us in the program. Now, Pleasure. the news report about the possible nuclear test comes from a South Korean news agency citing an unnamed intelligence official. How credible do you think is that? Well, we know it's it's uh, an election ploy. It's what the South Koreans call the North Wind, where they use a an incident involving the North to uh, consolidate votes around right-wing candidates in the South. We have an election, general election in South Korea on Wednesday, uh, so it's clearly aimed at that. We know, I mean, we can guess, I think, that if there are further sanctions on North Korea after the satellite test, and this is a satellite test, not a missile test, if there are sanctions, then one would guess that the next stage further down the track will be uh, another nuclear test. But um, beyond that, uh, we don't know. And this is clearly just a, uh, an election ploy. Hmm. Well, um, why do you think would Pyongyang be planning a nuke test now? I mean, basically just to... Uh, pick up on what you were saying earlier and risk well, possible yeah, I mean, you've, given the you've given the answer they 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 wouldn't now they would do it further down the track uh, if that was necessary i mean we have to remember that the whole point about north korean strategy is to force the americans into into peaceful coexistence so these nuclear tests are all part of that um so they're, they're not something that is done lightly they are done in response to you know, a set of set of negotiations. So uh, I don't think there's any particular reason to think that a test will come about at this time. No, no, that doesn't make sense. I think the simple answer is that this is the South Korean government trying to 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 garner votes for itself. Well, let's now talk a little bit more about this planned satellite launch, which is interesting in many mm -hmm. ways, given the publicity it has attracted, which is a rare move for Pyongyang to let so many foreign journalists in to see its rocket launch site. So would it do that if it were a missile test? Well, it's not a missile. A rocket can either deliver a missile or a satellite. Uh, so the technologies are obviously overlapping. Uh, there's no doubt, I think, that this is a satellite test. There's no doubt that the last one was a satellite test. And apparently you, you can easily tell from the trajectory. If you look at the trajectory of a, of a rocket, you can tell whether it's, it's launching a satellite, attempting to launch a satellite or, or, or testing missile. So there's no doubt that it is in fact uh, testing, well, launching a satellite, attempting to launch a satellite. Um, this clearly has military implications, but then it does for, for any other country. Um, so there are thousands and thousands of satellites in the sky. Um, and the interesting, I think the interesting one is Japan, which people tend to overlook. And the Japanese are making a lot of fuss about this launch, uh, threatening to shoot down the, 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 the rocket, etc., etc. Now, the Japanese in recent years have launched lots of satellites. Uh, Japan is what is called a threshold state. Uh, it has um, a very advanced nuclear uh, industry and it has advanced rocketry and if um, political decisions are taken and perhaps if it gets permission from Washington it can very rapidly become a major nuclear weapon state and the Japanese like to use the Koreans as, uh, as a means of, of pushing that forward all right, and uh, now just very briefly, if you can, sir, a report has emerged citing a South Korean government source that Seoul's latest joint army drill with the United States was to prepare an invasion of the North Territory. So why would they need to practice that? Just very briefly, if you could. Oh, well, they've been practicing that for years. Uh, they've had uh, these uh, practice invasions for, for many years. They uh, have been hoping that there will be a, some sort of collapse in the North which would allow them to, 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 to take over. They want to reunify the country under the control of Seoul. So these exercises are not new. Uh, there have been developments in recent, recent times. They've become rather more explicit. 
Um, whether it will actually, I don't think at this moment there's any great possibility of an invasion, but they keep practicing. That's what militaries do. Okay, Dr. Tim Beale, a researcher and Asia specialist from New Zealand. Thanks very much indeed for sharing your yeah, well. views with us here in the program.